Hi, I'm Elisa, back on my OOTD videos. I have other videos that I need to do for my channel. I'm just too busy with work, I don't have time, but I have the list. But here, I have a list of things to do. I just, I, I can't, I, I, you know, I need to work, I need to feed myself, so sorry if I don't have videos. And what I can give you, it's uh, these videos uh, to show you what I'm wearing. Uh, not to inspire you. I don't like that. I am I, No, I don't like to inspire. I just do what I do. I put it out there and if you want it, it's yours. Okay um, The reason why I say I don't inspire because inspiring is when I'm showing something so that you guys can do it too No, I'm showing you something that I do because you guys ask me and I'm just showing it to you But I don't want you to do it. Okay. Well, not that I don't want you to do it <laughs> I don't want you to think that I'm influencing you to do that, okay? So, today I'm wearing something that I am sure many of you are going to go, Oh my God, I can never wear that, you know? Or they're going to say, that is too young for me. And I know you're going to come out with a million excuses, I know, because that is the norm, okay? Because that's what we were in bid to think. You're supposed to follow the troop. You're supposed to be a sheep. And that's okay. Nothing wrong with sheeps. We sheeps are needed, okay? <laughs> but I'm just gonna show you what I'm doing because I certainly am not a sheep, and if I am one, it's gonna be a black one, and so proud of it. So today I'm wearing I'm gonna back up so you can see. First of all, right away you have a glimpse. Uh, okay, so let me just adjust this a second, guys. There you go. Okay, so Today, I felt very rock and roll, and I was in the mood to wear these kind of clothes, okay? And so, first of all, the I've always loved these kind of uh, pantyhose, fantasy hose, I've always, all my life. I remember my first, um, oh my gosh, what's a uh, fishnet uh, hose that I had? I was uh, 15, and I wore them for the longest time. And, uh, yeah, so I I've always loved the... Uh, fantasy holes. So today I felt like wearing it, but how am I going to wear fantasy holes and yet, uh, you know, like fa uh, fantasy holes, it's nice to wear like, you know, with longer skirts, we only say, see a bit, that's fine. But I felt like wearing something more, you know, rock and roll. So even though I am dressed, oh, shocking, you know, fantasy holes, shocking, over the knee boots, shocking, a skirt. For a 55 year old, this whole thing, look at it, it's very reserved, okay? I don't have any jewelry, my makeup is very subdued, my hair is very, I woke up in the morning and I just brushed it and it's done. So even though I have this going here, and I would say more like here, okay, this going here, the rest of me is so subdued that the the image the idea that's being shown is oh she's so cool in her skin you know she doesn't have to prove anything so she wore a skirt so she wore um fantasy hose so she wore over the knee boots but it's so part of herself it's not uh, she's not doing anything that is you know extraordinary kind of a thing and the attitude that I got I have from this, like, you know, if I come over, of course, it's going to be an attitude of, you're going to owe me? <laughs> Baby, I barely owe myself. <laughs> so you're not going to owe me, you know? Owe me, own me. You're not going to own me. Kind of a thing, right? So it's, it's a way of bringing yourself to the world. And you don't have to wear fishnets, okay, to tell the world, you know, what do you want? You can do that in sweatsuit, sweat, sweatsuits perfectly well because the attitude is within, okay? But if, if me wearing this, it just makes me have fun. It just helps my regular attitude to come out to the world. So you're watching this and I know a lot of you are gonna say, I can never do that because I'm too fat, I'm too short, I'm too whatever. I know you guys always put yourself down you guys give yourself so many limits and that breaks my heart because as sisters, 
we need to be strong, okay? Strong sisters make strong sisters. And the sisterhood has to be strong. And if your first thought is, oh, I can never do that because I have short legs, say to yourself, no. Let's say I have short legs. And what? It's not a limit, okay? It's not a limit. And in some ways, what I'm doing now, I'm 55 years old, I have a belly because I haven't worked out, okay? So, and I know I'm not comparing myself to you. I'm comparing myself to me and not even, I'm not even comparing myself. I'm just saying, I feel like doing it, I will do it, okay? Obviously, if I were a doctor, a lawyer, a finance person, obviously I wouldn't be able to wear this because I have to respect the confinements of the society that I've decided to belong to in order to develop inner strengths. There's nothing wrong with that, okay? There's nothing wrong with that. I can do it because I work in the, first of all, I work from home, but if I were to work in the office, I work in, a, uh, in the creative, uh, uh, creative? <laughs> creative field of software. So it, it's, it's okay, it's a done thing. You're, you're allowed kind of a thing, right? So uh, fine, same thing, you know, if I were a CEO and things like that, you know, it's, it's, guys, use your logic. Where you also have to use your heart is when you limit yourself. And I know you limit yourself because you write down in the comments. And so then it's like, okay, let's say you have short legs and then what? It doesn't mean you cannot wear it. You know, you were told that it doesn't look good on you. You were told that, okay, you were told. And no, there's no such a thing. There is such a thing as proportions. You can Google it, proportions, how to work with proportions, but there's nothing wrong with wearing whatever you want, regardless of your size, okay? So <clears throat> another thing, and I'm gonna make it into a uh, morale uh, video instead of just fashion. That's why my videos on fashion, it's not just about clothes. If you listen careful, uh, when you say, I love the way it looks on you, on me, it looks horrible, you're making the other person feel bad for looking good. Okay, I know you don't mean it that way. I know by you doing that, you actually want to give her more, but that person feels bad. It's like, oh shit, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, you cannot. It, even though it's none of my business, it's like, it's not my life. You know, we all want to be included. We all want to be part of a group. We all want to say, me too, me too, me too. And we all want to say, cool, cool, come along, come along. Okay? So when somebody's, when, if you are the type of person to do that, think about it. Okay? Think about it. Where is it coming from? Why do you have to say that? Why do you have that necessity? Is it because you really think of yourself not that much? And you know what? I have a friend who is extremely thin. She's a size zero, okay? Size zero women, they can wear, uh, what's it called? Uh, biased dresses. Dresses that are cut on the bias. They are the sexiest clothes there. Uh, cut, okay, because it's very shimmery and everything. But hey, you have to have zero curves for that. That, that bias cut was very popular in the 30s. And if you look at the shape of the women in the 30s, you know, end of 20s, they were very, very thin. So not everybody can wear a bias cut dress. I can't, okay, I can't. I'm too corpulent. No, I'm not corpulent, I'm more, I'm very athletically built. I love my body, I will never get rid of my body. Well, get rid of, I will never change anything about my body, okay? Uh, but it is what it is. So if I see a person wearing a bias cut dress, okay, and, uh, and it fits her marvelously, okay, I'm gonna say, I love how you look, that's fantastic. But I'm not gonna say, I wish I could wear it, but I can't. Lucky you, you can wear it, but I can't wear it. Oh, lucky you, you can wear heels, I can't wear heels. How do you, you know, no. okay? And here, yes, I am influencing you to stop doing that. And here, yeah, I'm not inspiring you, I'm telling you. <laughs> Don't do that, okay? Let people live their life. Let people have shiny nose. I'm seeing myself in the, uh, 
in the phone because I'm phoning and taping with my phone. So this phone, it's really horrible. I'm looking for a new phone. So my nose looks extra shiny. My, ex my nose extra looks, looks extra shiny. Let it. Let it. You know, I know it looks extra shiny. So things like that. Okay. It's really important. So uh, this is what I'm wearing today. It's a shirt over a sweater and uh, what am I saying? A shirt over a sweater. A shirt under a black sweater. My score. Wait, let me pull back. Okay, here we go. So it's shirt, sweater, skirts, fancy uh, tights and my over the knee boots. And uh, that is it, my friends. I was very nervous to film today because of the black. And the camera always gives off really bad uh, discoloration because of the white balance. But I've done it. So thanks so much for watching and I will see you on Wednesday. Bye.